uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of observance, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel. I'm Bushka, the man whose tonsils you may well recognize if you watched the Blitz Ultimate Cup. I was the commentator there, and I have to admit, I had probably the best time I've had all year um, in regards to gaming. I just had such a fun time casting those tournaments. They were the most exquisite bits of tanking, uh, and really, really enjoyed casting the APAC server tournament. And I'm going to feature a game from one of the Amigos in Risk, who you would have seen in that casting uh, extravaganza, Shugu and Mugu. Uh, he's going to pop up in the next couple of days. I'm doing a video on him. He's driving the Sheridan. It's a wonderful video. But today, we are very, very lucky to feature a couple of games here on Port Bay. And this is wild. This is something that I love seeing. A mouse driving forward with reckless abandon. Now, donking shots, it must be admitted. There's a lot of shots that are going to be missed by Nakado here, who is driving the big mouse in the house. However, you are going to see some extraordinary moments of full frontal mouse power. And he's not doing it bouncing shots from medium tanks or low pen heavies. No, 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 no. Nakano is about to let it all out on the corner versus some very, very big monster guns. Uh, and he's doing it I, would, I think it's safe to say that this constitutes an enormous amount of carry. Uh, and he's got big shoulders. You can see in the background, there is a big German pilot there. Nakado rolling forward, and he's daring the Jaegeru to have a crack. Just behind the Jaegeru, you can see there is the American version of a big pilot tank, the T110E3. And the Jaegeru behind him is actually doing a real big favor to Nakado. He's getting rid of of uh, the red that was circling around to double team him. There's another bounce. We're already up to 3,000 bounce damage nearly. 2,720 and only 870 damage to the good. And you're going to go through various stages in this game. You're going to go through stages of disbelief, denial, and eventually, finally, just pure awe and uh, excitement as Nakato goes to the world's most optimistic shot there on the upper deck of the mouse. That couple of big bounces there in that sequence takes him up to 5k. The T95 wants to have a crack, and Nakato says one good bounce deserves another and donks a shot off the back end. The kid doesn't like running the Bramo. He donks another shot. <laughs> bouncing, bouncing now, bouncing more. He's just rolling forward. And he sees that deck, he's like, I can have some of that. I gotta get the top deck. The E3, surely, surely he has to take damage here. No. No, no he doesn't. You would be wrong for thinking that he can be damaged. He is in fact an invincible tank of power and just general sexiness. Look at him. Look at him just... <laughs> I just realized what the name of the E100 is in this match. Oh my god. Because I love watched this match before. Um, Okay, you'll see very shortly, 7,160 damage bounced here. And Nakano angles up now, surely. Surely it's all over. Turret ring, turret cheek, nope. Nope, absolutely not. And Nakano seems intent on going for the most difficult shot possible. As he whacks another one right into... Is he still invincible, boys and girls? Surely he's going to take damage now. Oh, he's... he's He's bounced another. This has to be it. This has to be it. It is. He finally takes some damage. Look at that. What an incredible sight to see. Nakado, not at full hit points. Wonderful stuff. And the poor one. Oh, God. This is difficult to watch. Nakado, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, my goodness. We're up to eight and a half. K bounced. This is like watching two giant hippopotamuses wrestle their way through the Amazonian mud as Nakado starts trundling forward to what is this is what made me giggle before the E100 on the red team is two minutes he's got to survive for two minutes there's an object 268 and there's uh, Nakado and the E100 oh <laughs> his name is Ho Lee Fook <laughs> oh. 
Don't go changing, people. And Nakano just wants the 268 to go up there and do something to Holy Fook. Because Holy Fook is absolutely tomato red for Nakano. And he knows that chasing him up that hill is going to be difficult. The difficulty, obviously, for the 268 is that he's quite low on the hit points. And, uh, and Nakano's like, let's go. And everyone's saying, let's go. And so they're going. And Holy Fook... Defender of the Faith is now backing it up. I mean, there's been nothing but big heavyweight buffing going on this entire time as Nakano swings it round, boys and girls. There's nothing to shoot at there. He's got the Bravo out. Doesn't make any difference. The E100 remains a tomato of immense German power. And he's backed up gently across the top there. 47 seconds left. That's a lot of hit points to get through. And Nakado, despite bouncing 8.5k, still has plenty to do in this game as he goes flying off the top turnbuckle towards... Oh, we're down to 30 seconds. And after bouncing everything under the sun, he's now just snapshotting E100s left and right as he goes flying past and puts them back off. Oh. Puts the mouse into the uh, overdrive, into fifth gear. Side shots of the E100, 17 seconds to go, and the object has docked the shot. Now, Nakado won't get another shot in. That's the last shot of the game, and he max rolls it. All the object has to do is hit him. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, getting it done just as the clock ticks down there. Wonderful stuff. And our amigo Neko, oh, I've been calling him the Cardo, Neko Atsume. Neko, I apologize. I should re-record the audio, but i got to go pick the, the kid up from the movies and I don't have time, buddy. So much, much love, Neko, Neko Atsume. Did I start calling you Neko at the beginning or did I just switch to Nekado? Oh, well. Anyway, this is a wonderful oh, platoon. You can see this is Vegemite Tanker now. Vegemite Tanker is a particularly Australian thing to call yourself because obviously Vegemite is the world's greatest food and it is only available to the true believers here in the land down under. Uh, and on his right, even closer to home, is Tim Tam. Now, once upon a time, I believed that Tim Tam were Australian. It turns out that they are, in fact, a copy of an English biscuit. I know this because there was a lot of controversy when that came up. But suffice to say, that is the correct... Oh, well, Tim Tam, he might be a copy of an English biscuit. But uh, he's just done the FMLs because there's a lot less Tim Tam in the uh, packet than there was originally. And that's the end of the Tim Tam. So it's all or nothing on our Amigo here, the Vegemite Tanker. And you can see that the M48A1 pattern. Uh, things are looking pretty grim here for the good guys. The flank is certainly not secure, and that was a bit of heat right through the mantlet, I think. They're shooting up from the, the uh, little Russian bloke, and now the M48 bouncing everything. Now, I've got to say, you, are, you thought you saw good bouncing in the last game. Wow. You might note that there was a 460 there, I think it was. Bounce. That was actually down in the back corner there. You can see there's a Yag Tiger. But there is also a tank missing here. And you'll see that tank feature heavily the duration of this replay. Now, you thought saw some very cool bounces last game. There is nothing. Absolutely nothing I can say that will prepare you for the level of clutch displayed by my amigo Vegemite Tanker here in this game. There are bounces and then there are bounces. And bounces when you have nothing left in the pool, where if it connects, you're dead. Well, you're going to see a lot of those. So stick around as the double Australian duo tries to bring this one out now. Tim Tam is Don. He's, uh, he's gone, but he's going to give a lot of support. And one of the things I love about Blitz is the chat. TVP, question mark. You might be wondering where the TVP is. You don't have to worry much longer. What? Whoa, that's a couple of TVP shots. There is a TVP sniping from Spawn. And that's taken our protagonist, 
down to a very, very, very low number. And I have to tell you, you're about to see some of the wildest, most invigorating hold down medium play I have seen in quite some time. Now things are looking grim all over. Everyone's up against it. Oh, there's the first Spartan. Um, that's the, the award you get for basically bouncing your hit points. And that is a crackerjack shot through the top uh, hatch there on the E75. Looking for more of the same and gets it. Heat, heat, heat all day long. Damage dealt is up to 4,120 with 1,675 of the Bing Bing bouncers. And there's only two red tanks left, but there are not a lot of hit points spread out between the Amigos over here on the green squad. Now, he wishes he could have that one back because that was, to be honest, a shot he should have made after those two hat shots. And that one too. Maybe just stop bloody unscoping, you big grub. TVP, though, not to be confused with a shrinking violet, has gone forward and he's gone to the HE, looking for a big roll, only gets the 188. So he's really let the TVP off there and suddenly he realizes it's just him and he's very, very small hit point ball left. Now, I don't know if that's an error in the replay or if Vegemite Tanker is just not a fan of being zoomed in when he shoots. But Tanker, if you're watching this, mate, Stay zoomed in. You're going to hit a lot more shots. There's another clutch bounce and another clutch bounce. Uh, and there's another one. <laughs> and another one. We didn't even swept. Them. Are you freaking kidding me? He's just bounced. He's just bounced. Everything. Just, all they had to do was fire HE at him. Maybe they were firing HE. I've seen HE bounce in Blitz. Don't worry about that. They're taking turns throwing... Uh, Non-penetrations across the the way here. That slow shell velocity from the Crane Vargan Hagen does well. That was certainly a surprise. Uh, he's bounced another one. He's just he's just a bouncing machine. Is there any more bouncing left in the game? I don't think so because he's got all the bouncing right here on your own Blitz channel. Here we go. Don't do it, TVP. Don't don't come out sideways. After all that work, you're gonna come out sideways. Ace Tanker for real. And he's bounced another one. <laughs> he's just a bouncing, bouncing ball. Oh, he's missed that shot. He wishes he could have one. That was for all the lollipops. Come on, buddy. Sink it, sink it, sink it. No. What I love about this is, is just, off we go. I've had enough of this crap. There's only one way to do the job, and that's face to face. I'm into close close relationships with my uh, amigos, says the Vegemite Tanker, as he uh, trundles across the river looking for redemption after missing quite a few kill shots on the old TVP. I would like to point out that since he got to 60 odd hit points, or 85 hit points, he's bounced about 4,000 damage. <laughs> okay, he's not, he's not mucking around the guns, turning desperation, and he hits the last one. That's all that matters. As long as you hit the last one, I'm Bushka. Look forward to seeing you here on channel. I'm currently grinding the Russian light line. I'm up to the tier nine, and I've only got three bits of equipment on it. And it's uh, and I don't have the top engines or the tracks or anything. So very very exciting times there. Uh, I've also been playing a fair bit of Centurion 701 just because why? I love the tank. Love it. Uh, highlights today, obviously. Holy fuck. Uh, holy fuck. One of the great great tankers uh, that we saw before right up there with hello and hello boobies and the Samoa ninja who we featured previously on the channel stick around send me the videos at bushkagaming at gmail.com and uh, i'll catch you real soon amigos